friends, thank you for coming to the YouTube channel, The Nameless Preacher. This is where I read the Word of God, and I try to do it every day. I try to do it in nature if I can. And thank you for being here. We have reached 1 Samuel chapter 9 and verse 1, and that's where we will begin. Chapter 9 and verse 1 of 1 Samuel. Now there was a man of Benjamin whose name was Kish, the son of Abiel, the son of Zeror, the son of Bekorath, the son of Aphia, a Benjamite, a mighty man of power. And he had a son whose name was Saul, a choice young man and a goodly. And there was not among the children of Israel a goodlier person than he from his shoulders and upward. He was higher than any of the people. And the asses of Kish, Saul's father, were lost. And Kish said to, his, to Saul, his son, Take now one of thy servants with thee, and arise, go seek the asses. And he passed through Mount Ephraim, and passed through the land of Shalishah, but they found them not. Then they passed through the land of Shalem, and there they were not. And he passed through the land of the Benjamites, but they found them not. And when they were come to the land of Zuf, Saul said to his servant that was with him, Come, and let us return, lest my father leave caring for the asses, and take thought for us. And he said unto him, Behold, now there is in this city a man of God, and he is an honorable man. All that he saith come as surely to pass. Now let us go thither, for adventure he can show us our way that we should go. Then said Saul to his servant, But behold, if we go, what shall we bring the man? For the bread is spent in our vessels, and there is not a present to bring to the man of God. What have we? And the servant answered Saul again and said, Behold, I have here at hand the fourth part of a shekel of silver. That will I give to the man of God to tell us our way. Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of God, thus he spake, Come and let us go to the seer. For he that is now called a prophet was before time called a seer. Then said Saul to his servant, Well said, come, let us go. So they went on to the city where the man of God was. And as they went up the hill to the city, they found young maidens going out to draw water and said unto them, Is the seer here? And they answered them and said, He is, behold, he is before you. Make haste now, for he came today to the city, for there is a sacrifice of the people today in the high place. As soon as ye be come into the city, ye shall straightway find him before he go up to the high place to eat. For the people will not eat until he come, because he doth bless the sacrifice, and afterwards they eat that be bidden. Now therefore get you up, for about this time ye shall find him. And they went up into the city, and when they were come into the city, behold, Samuel came out against them for to go up to the high place. Now the Lord had told Samuel in his ear a day before, Saul came, saying, Tomorrow about this time I will send thee a man out of the land of Benjamin, and thou shalt anoint him to be captain over my people Israel, that he may save my people out of the hand of the Philistines. For I have looked up upon my people, because their cries come unto me. And when Samuel saw the Lord, said unto him, Behold, the man whom I spake to thee of, this same shall reign over my people. Then Saul drew near to Samuel in the gate and said, Tell me, I pray thee, where the seer's house is. And Samuel answered Saul and said, I am the seer. Go up before me unto this high place, for ye shall eat with me today and tomorrow. I will let thee go and will tell thee all that is in thine heart. And as for thine asses that were lost three days ago, set not thy mind on them, for they are found. And on whom is all the desire of Israel? Is it not on thee and on thy father's house? And Saul answered and said, Am not I a Benjamite of the smallest of the tribes of Israel, and my family the least of all the families of the tribe of Benjamin? Wherefore then spakest thou so to me? And Samuel took Saul and his servant, brought them into the parlor and made them sit in the chiefest place among them that were bidden which were about thirty persons and samuel said unto the cook bring the portion which i gave thee of which i said unto thee set it by thee and the cook took up the shoulder and that which was upon it and set it before saul and samuel said behold that which is left set it before thee and eat for unto this time hath it been kept from thee since i said i have invited the people so saul did eat the with Samuel that day. And when they were come down from the high place into the city, Samuel communed with Saul upon the top of the house. And they arose early, and it came to pass about the spring of the day that Samuel called Saul to the top of the house, saying, Up, that I may send thee away. And Saul rose, and they went out, both of them, he and Samuel, abroad. And as they were going down to the end of the city, Samuel said to Saul, Bid the servant pass on before us. And he passed on. But stand thou still a while, that I may show thee the word of God. 
Oh friends, what an exciting time when somebody could be told to stand still because I'm going to show you the Word of God. May the Word of God be a blessing to us all. May God be glorified. Amen.